Hello guys, I'm John Bedwaffles Algets and welcome to yet another speed development commentary. And I know that I said I wasn't going to be doing a speed development or a commentary this day, but I had like an issue where I was up until 7 a.m. this morning editing a video for Screen Rant, which if you have not checked out what I do for Screen Rant, there will be a link in the card. Uh, so I was up till 7 a.m. and then I didn't have time to finish the video that I was doing for today. So that video is instead going to come out next week. So next week you're going to get two videos that aren't speed developments or commentaries. Uh, a few of you are heartbroken and a few of you uh, are pretty excited about that. But I figured this would be a good excuse to sit down and talk about my game some more uh, and just sort of talk you through this speed development, which is Gen 3.5 Large City. So, whoop, I need to turn that down. Which, for some reason, it's not letting me. Uh, okay, so... This is one way to do, if you know that you're going to be having like a real foresty map, sometimes if you want to get lazy, you can just fill the map with trees and then literally cut your city out, um, which I don't usually advise doing, but sometimes that's a much easier way of going about it. So this is yet another situation where I have like, a remake of a map that I had already made for my game because I didn't have the forethought to record all of the maps when I was making them for the game. So occasionally I've gone back and remade the maps um, just for the sake of, uh, you know, allowing you guys to see sort of the, the build process. Um, while I'm doing this, I usually have like a separate window over on one of my other monitors that has like a picture of the map on it with a grid overlaid on top of it so that I can like perfectly see like where all the tiles are and how big everything is. Um, but there still winds up being like some variation, uh, really leaving room for exploration in terms of like the layout of the map. So this map winds up being not a perfect recreation of the map from the game, but pretty damn close. Uh, and honestly, this is, this might be my favorite city that I've ever made, or at least one that I've ever, uh, put into a speed development. So this was meant to be like, it's, it's sort of like your, your Celadon city, kind of like your first, like real big populated area that you step foot into. Um, and there's, there's, you know, it's, it's a very like small, very like wholesome sort of, uh, sort of feel to it while still at the same time being rather large. Now a commenter pointed something out and I want to take a second to talk about this. Uh, right there, there's a bench that's facing a light pole. And I didn't realize that I did that until a commenter pointed that out. Like, I want to say it was like maybe like one or two months ago. Uh, I'm sorry. I forget your name, but know that that has bugged me since it's been pointed out. Um, it's, I'm just, I'm kicking myself real hard that I did that. Cause that is just, that is just sloppy, but it still kind of looks okay. Um, so it just goes, kind of goes to show that even if you make mistakes, you know, you, most people might not notice it, or if they do, it might take them a long time before they notice it. So don't, I guess don't beat yourself up so much about it. Um, I'm really bad. So I, I'm, you know, kicking myself pretty hard, as I said, but you know, mistakes happen, you learn and you move on. I've actually since gone and fixed that because I noticed that it was that way in the original map as well. I've actually gone back and I've, I've changed it. It that's, it's no longer doing that. So woo. Thank you. Commenter. Um, yeah. So this is also a, a good time to show off like, you know, street signs and, light light posts and these little details that you don't you know maybe necessarily think about putting into your map uh that just makes it feel more like a city here's another like my benches in this map are just like really weirdly placed because right there i've got a bench right next to a dumpster like who logically 
who would sit on that bench because that bench is going to reek. Like it's going to be really, really bad. Um, but you know, whatever, man, <laughs> you know, it's a, it's a cool looking map. That's, that's all that matters. And, uh, yeah. So there's the finished map. Uh, this, this also makes me want to talk about one other thing. And this really, like, it's it's really very much a Pokemon thing to do. And that is color coding the city. Um, if you notice, with pretty much any city within Pokemon, the roofs are usually the same color. Um, and no two towns tend to be, share the same color. Like, that's, that's a very common, uh, very common sort of way that the Pokemon company will sort of differentiate between the different towns is by giving them a color like designation. Um, and so I made sure to continue that with this game project. And if you've watched other uh, speed development videos where I've been working within this game, you'll notice that there's like a red town and a blue town and there's like a purple town. And this is my like weird, like, dark cyan i don't know what the hell that color is um teal i guess kind of i don't know but like it's it's just kind of a it's it's an interesting way to get people almost subtly to recognize that things are part of a whole if that makes sense so imagine i had this imagine i had a city that spread across multiple maps you could denote that these are all sort of part of the same area by just having the different roofs. It's it's a little like subtle psychological change. Okay, it's not it's not necessarily subtle. It's pretty blatant and pretty in your face, but it's not something that players think about necessarily. Um, so that's just one like little tiny little mapping trick that you can do. Use colors to group things together um, without like blatantly being like this is all together. Um, yeah, I feel like I'm rambling about that point, but it's it's just a neat little trick. Um, so it's also within Pokemon games. It's also very useful to color code your uh, city in conjunction with what the gym leader is. Um, I believe the gym leader here is dark. So that like very much like darker color to it. It's perfect. That's, 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 that's real, real good color choice right there. Uh, cause, cause this, this real, real American Pokemon game. Um, I saw the disaster artist and I've been talking like Tommy Wiseau since anyways. So, uh, yeah, that's basically all that I have to say about this map. As I said, uh, I am sorry that you guys wound up getting another commentary. Uh, although there, there's some of you who aren't complaining, but, uh, you guys will be getting new fresh content next week uh just like i release new videos every wednesday and saturday that you, wednesday you'll you'll see something new from me uh and as i'm recording this it is a few days before christmas so if you celebrate christmas uh merry christmas and for the rest of you happy holidays um i hope that you guys have a wonderful time with your families no matter what you're celebrating kwanzaa hanukkah whatever you know just have a great time, spend some time with your loved ones, and I will see you on Wednesday for something entirely different. But if you like this video, be sure to subscribe, click the little bell to be notified when I upload fresh content, and uh, why not give it a like? It really helps out. Even dislikes help, but please don't dislike it. <laughs> that being said, guys and gals, have a good one.